Xenophilius Lovegood was a British wizard who worked as the editor of the Quibbler magazine, the husband of Pandora, and the father of Linda Lovegood. This is the life of Xenophilius Lovegood. Xenophilius was born into the Lovegood family and attended Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry where he was sorted into Ravenclaw. At an unknown time, he married Pandora Lovegood, with whom he had a daughter, Luna Lovegood. He raised Luna himself after an accident during magical experimentation that took Pandora's life. Sometime later, Xenophilius created a magazine called The Quibbler in which he wrote about his obscure beliefs, including the crumple horn Snorkak. At some point during his life, Xenophilius attended one of L. Red Warpool's book signings. He presumably shared his bizarre beliefs with Warpool, not to mention his choice of clothing and accessories, as the latter remembered him as a seriously unbalanced man. Xenophilius also went to many of the Quidditch World Cups, including the one in 1994 where they watched the final of the Quidditch World Cup, Ireland vs. Bulgaria. In 1996, Xenophilius published Harry Potter's story about the night he saw Lord Voldemort return and sent Harry a free copy. This was the fastest selling edition of the Quibbler, even being reprinted at least once before Mr. Lovegood sold the store to the Daily Prophet. The Lovegoods used the money received from the selling the story to the prophet to travel to Sweden over the summer to search for the crumple horn Snorak. When Rufus Scringer became Minister for Magic, Xilophilius planned to print a story in the Quibbler stating that Scringer was in fact a vampire. However, the Ministry stepped in and prevented him from printing the story. Xenophilius believes that it was because the Ministry did not want to get the truth out. In the summer of 1997, Xenophilius and Luna Lovegood attended Bill Weasley and Fleur de Glor's wedding at the borough. There, Xenophilius got into an argument with Victor Chrome over the necklace he was wearing. Victor identified it as the Dark Wizard Gaelic Grindelwald's mark. When the fall of the Ministry of Magic under the control of Lord Voldemort, the Daily Prophet's enterprise was seized by the Death Eaters. The Quibbler, however, continued as usual, and Xenophilius made his support of Harry Potter clear. Xenophilius' public support of Harry Potter eventually got him in trouble with the Death Eaters. Many speculated why the Death Eaters had let him get away with it for so long. They kidnapped his daughter and held her hostage at Malfoy Manor. Xenophilius intended to do whatever it took to get her back. He agreed to publish an anti-Potter article in the Quibbler. Following the line of the Voldemort dominated the ministry, with Harry being depicted as an undesirable no one on the front page of his magazine. When he was visited by Harry, Ron, and Hermione later in the year, Xenophilius alerted Death Eaters, hoping they would return Luna in exchange. While waiting for the Death Eaters' arrival, Xenophilius told the trio about the Deathly Hollows. He explained that the symbol was worn by believers and seekers of the Hollows to identify themselves to one another. When Harry grew suspicious of him after realizing that Luna had not been home for some time, Xenophilius attended to, to stun Harry and his friends. Harry pushed Hermione and Ron out of the way, causing him to miss. Instead, the spell hit the horn, which caused the fluid inside to explode, causing his house to collapse inwards. The Death Eaters Travers and Zoween arrived and briefly tortured Xophilius, believing that he was trying to trick them about Harry being at his home. After the human present revealing spell revealed that they were others in the house, the Death Eaters sent Zophilius up the stairs. Hermione rapidly wiped his memory of what they had discussed with him and then blasted a hole through the floor to the tree of escape engineering it so that Death Eaters saw that Harry was indeed there, thus ensuring that neither Xevelius nor Luna were punished for lying, and so that neither saw Ron, who were supposed to be at home sick with spotter groat. After the trio's escape, Xenophilius was arrested and sent to Azkaban. His attempted betrayal was unknown, with the anti-Potter issue of the Quibbler buried under the debris of his home and never distributed. 
He was released after Voldemort's death defeat on the 2nd of May of 1998. Luna, in the meantime, was rescued by the house elf Dobby from Malfoy Manor, meaning they both survived the war. Harry, Ron, and Hermione preserved Cinevelia's reputation and never revealed the truth, as his attempted portrayal had been motived solely by concern for his daughter. As an adult, Luna would soon come to realize the truth about her father, and accepted that some of her creatures did not exist. She married Rolf Scamander, grandson of the famous Newt Scamander, and the couple had twins, Lorcan and Lysander, thus making Exophilius a grandfather. It is not known what happened to Xenophilius beyond this point. All we know that he and his family traveled to the World Cup in the July of 2014. Xenophilius was always weird and not always trustworthy, but he always tried to keep Harry Potter's back. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment on what character we should do next. Thank you for watching.